Hello guys, today's challenge is creating a UI design for my app Gastro Captain. If you don't know, that's an application that creates healthy meals plans based on your food preferences. I'm headed to a coffee shop to create a wireframe. Let's go! I want to create a wireframe for my application to have a guidance. What elements do I need? How usable it would be. I am using Figma to create the design. I am creating a new project and naming it Gastro Captain. So a Figma file has pages that can hold frames. I will create multiple ones during the lifetime of the project. I start by creating a low fidelity wireframe that has the general layout of the pages and then I create high fidelity mocks that serves as an example of what I want to implement. I want to start with the landing page wireframe. For that I'm adding a desktop frame that will serve as a base for the web page. In the meantime my coffee and my eclair arrived. During the implementation the result can differ as things in a design can look different than on a web page. I want to have a top section that briefly introduces the purpose of the application for the visitor. I want to have an image that will display a meal and a title as it is a sailing team meal planner application. I will have to write a description, for now a placeholder is fine. Most importantly, I want a call to action in the form of a login button that enables user to sign up or sign in. I want to create a clean and a minimalist look for the landing page and to guide the user towards this button. In the previous episode, I've implemented the authentication functionality and Google login. Getting the image size right is not an easy task and will be most likely further refined during development. Below the first section, I want to showcase some recipes in form of some pills. During my creative process I often add backgrounds to the frames so I can see the frame's dimensions. Setting the corner radius of a box to 100 results in a pillar shape, exactly what I was looking for. I want the title section's background to overlap the pills a little, as it creates a seamless transition between the elements. This result looks kinda nice, this is what I've tried to achieve. My concept is when the user clicks or hovers a pill, it expands and shows more from the dish so the guests can get a quick peek into what the app will do. Next to the pills I want to have a little information about each dish. A title, a short description of what this recipe is about. I want the title to pop and making it bold does that. Below the description I want to showcase a list of ingredients that are required for the recipe. The layout is starting to form. I really like the concept. Below the content I want to have a footer. In the footer I want to have an SVG animation of a sailing ship. Maybe a few links too, like an about or contact. As the landing is done, I can start working on the dashboard. I want to have some sort of a menu. For now, I will go with the sidebar approach. In the sidebar I want to have icons that will navigate the user to different pages of the application. The top icon will be the applications icon that I still have to figure out what will be. For now I am planning 4 menu items. A weekly meal planner view, an ingredient view, a recipe and a settings view. The main dashboard page will be the weekly meal planner view as this is the most important feature in the application. 5 to 7 columns will be available. For now let's just go with 5 columns for every day from Monday to Friday. As I think people often eat out during the weekend, Ed would not be interested in a meal plan for those days. For each day I want to have 3 meals recommended. Breakfast, lunch and dinner. I get very thirsty during the creative process that I've ordered lemonade without ice, as I don't like very cold beverages. Back to the design, I want to show recipes for every occasion to help the user to prepare for a week in advance. Next I will need a new page for the ingredients. Here am I thinking about the pill design again, to have the name of the ingredient inside and the thumbs up and the thumbs down icon. I love the touch bar on the MacBook, I use it very often and I'm sad they've removed it. Anyway, I'm thinking something like that for the ingredients. The page will be full of them. I want to have some tabs, so it will be easy to overview all the ingredients, liked and disliked ingredients. Basically this would enable the user to double check and manage their ingredient preferences through a simple UI followed by a recipe selector. Here I am envisioning a similar tab view structure. All recipes, liked and disliked recipes. Recipes will be presented by cards. They will have titles, a brief description and a detail button that will show the details of a recipe, like the list of ingredients and the steps required to prepare it. 
Next, I want to have a settings page, where the user can set their weight, their preferred language and unit. Based on the weight, I want to display the macronutrient goals. Oh, and don't forget a logout button at the bottom, so the users can log out from the application. I've been staying for more than an hour and a half in this coffee shop, it's time to go home to finish the design. As spring is here and the weather is quite warm, these two lovely doggies require even more exercise, so let's take them for a walk. It became night when I had time to finish the design. It's time to create the high fidelity mocks. In the meantime I had time to figure out some text for the description. For now in the mocks I'm using some pictures I found. In the finished product I will use my own photos. I really like the idea to gather a bunch of healthy foods for a photo. I will use the login button I've implemented in the last video. The pills will showcase some recipes. First some chicken breast with broccoli, an avocado salad and finally a salad. Now let's fill out the details of a recipe, a title and a brief description. And for the ingredients, let's include all the ingredients this recipe would need. Chicken breasts, broccoli, pepper, garlic, black pepper and salt. I will adjust the crop on the pictures so they will look more aligned. As this is a meal planner application, I wanted to use warm colors like this peach one for a background as it creates a welcoming feel. Let's round the corners of the picture so it will look better. For the titles I will use the Railway font and for the descriptions I will use Lato as these two fonts go together pretty well. In the footer for now I will place an image of a sailing ship. I will implement something similar in the future, it's a great placeholder for now. Regarding the ingredient selector pills, for the liked ones I want them to have a green border to show a positive visual and red for the disliked one and grey for the unselected ones. I am thinking about adding a little circle image for the pills to better display the ingredients. I am really satisfied with how the landing page turned out. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and I will see you in the next one.